Welcome to the Great Chamber. Um, we have done uh, a little bit of an episode on this when we looked at the Tudor part of the house. So if you remember, you've got the pendulum ceiling. Um, that's the most important um, sort of uh, piece of history in this room because the same ceiling is in Hampton Court, well, a similar ceiling of that period, a pendulum ceiling is in Hampton Court Palace as well. But I'm not here to talk to you about history. Well, I, okay, I am, I am, but not about the history of the house. So one of the things I've always wanted to do, I was telling Stephen, was just to, a lot of you have asked like, where are my outfits from? You, um, If you've uh, followed me along on social media, you know that I love vintage clothes and I like collecting them. So I'm not gonna go through every single piece here, um, but I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about the pieces that I look for and the pieces that I collect. So I'm very, very into secondhand and going to charity shops around London. Yep, I go to charity shops. I even have a card in the Red Cross um, charity shop off the King's Road that I get stamps for every time I buy something there. Then the next time, if I collect the stamps, I think I get like five pounds off or something. I'll take it. So I do really look around, but also for the TV series, um, they have kindly given me a stylist. She's fantastic. And so she styles me for um, the TV series as well. But And she also helps me find some of these. So when she sees these things, she will um, tell me, like, look at this or do you want this? So if you want to follow Ruth, I mean, she doesn't just do vintage. She does a whole bunch of things that you can follow. Stephen will put it in. It's Ruth Recommends and her Instagram. She's been Fantastic, you guys, and just has a really good eye. She doesn't post that much, um, but you can always DM her and ask her questions and things like that. And especially if you're looking for something, especially even in over in London, she can keep an eye out for it for you for it, find it, and then send you a photo and be like, this is it, this is the size, this is what it looks like, and ship it to you. So that's what's amazing, because she does that to me all the time. I'm not always in London. And I'm down here, obviously, uh, quite a bit of it. And she'll send me pictures and be like, do you like it? It's your size, da da da. Um, so what I kind of want to start with is I'm going to start with the oldest piece first and then we'll move up to the latest piece, which is the 1970s. So I usually like to collect 1930s. So that's my sort of, most of the, my collection is from the 1930s, but occasionally I'll dip in and out of um, other eras. Uh, so this one right here, this is Edwardian, so a little bit older. So Edwardian is like 1910s, yeah? So Edwardian is about 1910s, and um, this is really almost like a cape. So you would absolutely have to wear something underneath this, even if it's like a slip dress, which I'm gonna show you in a second, which I would pair together. But this is my oldest one. So this is Edwardian, beautiful um, uh, material here. Obviously you've got the lovely velvet and you've got uh, silk here as well. So, and it's just been made the quality is just, you know, these the quality, all this stuff, most of it has been handmade. It's, it's sensational. So then I kind of want to move over to this selection here. So this selection is my 1930s. So you might have seen me wear this top. It's one of my favorite um, silk uh, with a scalloped collar top, 1930s top. Um, this one needs to go into repair, but again, this is a 1930s dress. Uh, I think that this is the one from Paris, if I remember. Um, yeah, so this one's from Paris, but you can see this one has already been massively repaired up here and I need to have it more, when I bought it, it was like this, so it needs to be more repaired as well. But I just think it's beautiful and it has this tie collar. So I did wear it, I think, filming one of the episodes. Which one was it? Lettuce soup. Oh, lettuce soup. See, Stephen remembers, I filmed it wearing lettuce soup. So there you go, I love that one. This one again is 1930s. So I have worn this, I know in some social media posts as well. And when I was doing stuff for Smithsonian Channel um, during lockdown on their Facebook page, I wore this one a lot for my break and breathe. Again, 1930s, very, very long. So there's a part of me, do I alter some of them? Yes, I do. Um, there's a part of me that probably wants to get this one altered up to just around the shin area so it's not as long, but I'm still deciding. I haven't decided 100%. Um, 
This one I love. Again, 1930s. Oh, so beautiful. And again, look at the handmade quality here, like the silk here. Then obviously the, the ruffle collar. There are a few moth holes in here, not from us, but when I bought it. So I always know, let's see if we can find one. There we go. I always know that there's going to be some damage and it's not too bad. So I'm probably not going to spend the money to get it repaired right now, but it is one of my favorite tops. So you remember that Edwardian um, sort of cover, if you like. Uh, this is something I would definitely put, and in fact, I'm going to put it together under the Edwardian. I wouldn't, I would keep this on then the whole time. So this is 1930s, but I could put this underneath here and look at that. And then it can, it would be just long enough. So the perfect length, it may come out a little bit, but that would show it. And then you've got this lovely handmade uh, stitch detail here. So again, this is something that I will wear probably in the autumn, which we are in now, but at a dinner party or something like that. And then this would go underneath. Um, yeah, I think it could look, in fact, Stephen, hold on. Let's just let's just have a little look here. Um, if I can, there we go. So I think that this could look. I haven't done it yet, so when I do it, you will be the first to see when I wear it to a dinner party. But I think, see, that is just. I think that that will look really fantastic underneath here, and then you've got a little bit of it slipping out. How brilliant! Anyway, it's for my next dinner party. So then I'm gonna just move on to here. I guess I am gonna get through everything. Again, I'm still in 19, not this, I'm still in 1930s vibe. So this is 1930s, it's beautiful. In fact, I can put it on right now because it matches my, this is a 1950s dress, matches my 1950s dress. This is 1930s velvet. You can see even on the inside, um, look at this cute pocket. Like, look at that, the fine detail that they had. I mean, I'm sure they didn't have, obviously they didn't have mobile phones back then. So maybe they put their lipstick in there or something. I could put my mobile phone in there. Um, so this is velvet, um, beautiful, and it's got little clasps here. So I could clasp them together. You can see that. I won't now, but I quite like that. Okay, this one I love, and I haven't worn it yet. And I'm still figuring out, like, do I dress it up or do I dress it down? Comment below. So comment. So. I could wear jeans with this, right? And then maybe just like a white top, a smart white collared top, or maybe just a white top underneath. And then so I could dress it down, but then of course I could wear it to a dinner party over a dress. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't worn it yet because I, I haven't figured it out what I want to do with it. But I, I saw it uh, and I was like, I have to get that now. Moving up, so you can see my 1930s collection. Then occasionally I will dip into kind of the 1940s, 1950s, 1960s, 1970s. I've got one of each. So this is my 1940s dress. Um, and I've worn this for a live Q&A. Um, so I've worn this for a live Q&A. This is my 1940s and it's just beautiful a fabric detail stitching, um, lovely, uh, it's almost like a raffia belt here. Um, love this. So this is 1940s. Then if you watched my scone video on Instagram a few months ago, um, this is my 19, uh, this is 1950s. So this is my 1950s dress. I mean, it totally looks 1950s. Look at that collar. And again, again, the belt, so cute. Um, super tight though, so I have to be like to get into it. Uh, and then this is 1960s, so this one is 1960s. And I oh I wore this at Florence, so you probably recognize this from the episode in Florence. Wore this in Florence. I mean, it totally looks 1960s. Isn't it amazing to see how it's kind of changed by the eras and or by the decades. And then one of my favorite is my 1970s. So this is my 1970s prairie dress. I absolutely love this. I wore this quite a bit this summer. Um, so, but I just found it interesting getting a piece from the 1940s and looking how different the style was in the 1950s. Then of course the 1970s, a little bit of psychedelic there, lots of color. And then of course the prairie dresses of the 1970s. And before you ask, I absolutely do have Somewhere back home in America, I'm certain of it, a Laura Ashley 1980s dress that I will find 
and ship over here. Um, so yeah, so that's just my vintage collection. I think if you're interested in collecting vintage clothes or and looking in charity shops, stick with like a decade. So for me, it's the 1930s. That's gonna be the bulk of my collection. And then occasionally I'll dip in and out, like that night, that Edwardian sort of robe dress, like one from the 1940s, 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s. But overall, my collection is, I really wanna have a collection of 1930s um, stuff. So that's it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. And again, I found this one in Florence uh, the other day, so, or when I was in Florence a month ago. So this is, again, a 1950s dress. You can kind of just tell, right? Very similar to the other 1950s. Um, thank you guys again so much. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon.